Today we are demonstrating our uh, pyrolysis process, the biogreen process, where we can take various wastes, biomass, plastics, or even shredded tires and convert them into valuable materials. Here is the monitor of the biogreen system. So on this screen we monitor all the different temperatures that we have in the, within the biogreen system. I'm Sarah Loisani. I'm the R&G engineer in uh, ETIA in Compiègne in France. And I'm here today in uh, Norway to run the, the test for the Plastic to Olefins project. Uh, we're currently running a test on uh, plastic waste. So what we do is we do high uh, temperature pyrolysis on uh, the biogreen device that we have here. And we basically uh, check the behavior of this plastic waste into uh, this uh, biogreen process. We take shredded plastics, convert them in our pyrolysis process at high temperature and convert it into a valuable gas, liquids, and a uh, carbon that can be recycled or used for other purposes. Not everything can be analyzed just with the gas in the gas bag. So there are some uh, components which we trap into a trap solution that you can find here uh, to analyze them in the liquid. And considering we know how much gas is flowing in the trap solution, we can deduce how much of this component we have in the gas. For WOW, it's important that the technologies can be used for different applications. And this one, for the long term, we see that plastic to olefins or plastic to other products, when plastic cannot be converted by any other process, pyrolysis might be a viable route to accomplish circularity in the uh, plastic value chain. It is really important to bring concrete impact for environment, for business, for uh, creating jobs. Manufacturers within the plastic value chain can reach circularity by recycling carbon atoms from plastic back to olefins and back to plastic again. Hopefully this project will lead to reducing uh, our dependence on uh, fossil fuels by not only using electrical solutions like the biogreen device we're currently working on, but also by valorizing this kind of waste, we can not only create energy, but also new raw materials to create plastic instead of extracting it from fossil fuels.